Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're here again in my backyard, and I want to talk about the wingspan of your arms. As we progress from our lunge position, um, we are going to start incorporating different hand and arm positions, and I want you to have a few modifications. So when we talk about the wingspan of our arms, it's basically referring to one end of our fingertip going through the arm, across the chest, through the other arm to the other fingertip. So like a wing of a bird, from the tip of one finger to the other tip of the opposite hand, that is my wingspan. And what we are trying to do is get the longest, widest wingspan that we can. And this is going to come into play um, when we transition from our lunge position into warrior two. Not only there, but that's a really good example of taking our hands from an overhead position where our angle was in crescent lunge and then opening up into warrior two. So the wingspan that we're talking about, we're trying to get the hand elbow at shoulder height. So we might notice at the beginning of our practice that our shoulders are a little tired, our arms are a little heavy, and we might notice that our arm is, our hand is below our shoulder. And that's okay, but eventually we'd like to try to get it lifted so that it's at shoulder-ish height. Yes? So we might start down here where our shoulders cannot lift our hands, but eventually we would like to get into this type of idea where the hand arm is shoulder-ish height. So my hand goes through my elbow, goes through my shoulder, kind of juts across the collarbone and goes into the other arm. So think as big if I, as I possibly can with those arms. So not only is it is as long or as big as I possibly can, I'd like to keep it in line with my chest. So I'm going to try to exaggerate here a little bit so that you can see. So when my arms are extended from the shoulders, I should look like a T, the letter T as in Tom. So my arms are the T part and my spine is the bottom part. So this is my spine and these are my arms. Yes. So I'd like to try to get as close to T as I possibly can. What I'd like to try to avoid is the L. So now my one arm is perpendicular to the other. And I'd rather have an open chest, an open collarbone, and have that T position in my arms. It's not going to happen right away for some of you. You might notice that one arm is leaning towards that L position. But eventually we'd like to see if we can open up the chest into that T position arm, the widest wingspan that we can possibly get. Now, having said that, you're going to notice that maybe if you have a shoulder issue, that length of your arm is simply too heavy. So we have an option. Instead of our T arms, we can bend at the elbow and have our cactus arms or our stop sign arms, as many times I've heard it referred to. So that allows the length of my arm to be shorter. So now it's not there, but now my hand is over my elbow, and that's going to keep my wingspan less. So that might help my shoulders support. I'm still looking for that T position where my elbow is in line with my shoulder, but now my arms aren't as long. 
So this is another option. So I have my T full wingspan. I still have my T, but I have my cactus arms. Again, I'm still avoiding trying to bring the one arm in front. That will come a little bit later on. But open collarbone, that T position from elbow at least through the shoulder to the other elbow. Or if I can, I'm going to have those wide, long arms. Yeah? So again, depending on what's going on with your shoulders, that long span might have to come a little lower. And that might even have to be cactus and lower. But eventually trying to get to that nice, big expanse. Not at the compromise of my chest. I don't want to be doing this because now my spine is not in neutral position any longer and it's certainly not comfortable. So again, bringing those ribs in, keeping that neck and spine neutral, that S curve that we talked about, but doing the best we can with having those nice, big, wide arms. And again, as I do that wide arm, how is that breath? Have I scrunched everything up to try to get those arms long and then I notice I can't breathe? Or can I still breathe nice and smoothly? And that's constantly what we're trying to do is have the smooth breath. So that's where your modifications come in. When you notice that your breath is just getting out of hand, you choose another modification. So we are going to start using that, those arms, as we transition from our lunge into our warrior two. So that's going to be coming up very shortly, transitioning to warrior two. And I'll talk about some modifications that you can use um, for warrior two. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.